Leopard or lion? Lion or leopard? What do you like better? Or, if you're like me, you think to yourself, there were so many things in Leopard that I loved, and so many programs I had running that worked beautifully, and now they went along and brought Lion, which has a lot of great features as well, but they kind of messed up your Snow Leopard a little bit. Uh, some of the programs don't run right, and you know there's things that Apple still needs to update in Lion to make it the way you had it with Leopard. Now, what if I told you there was a way that you can completely have both of them, a full version of each one of them, on one computer? And uh, it's sort of uh, you know, a great thing because I have 200 and uh, about 350 gigabyte hard drive, and I have the majority of my hard drive dedicated to Leopard, and I got 50 gigabytes dedicate it for line installation and I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible so first thing you're going to do is you need to open up um, your uh, disk utilities and you can find that in applications in finder and utilities and disk utilities so you open up disk utilities and you'll see here this is your main hard drive that's installed internally in your computer um, I have an external hard drive too but anyway you uh, you will see one heading here and we'll say Mac HD by default I mean you might have changed the name I don't know so if you go into uh, your main heading of your hard drive and you click partition you will see one big solid box and this is software uh, that um, that's this is the leopard that's installed uh, on your clean hard drive this is all free space so what I did was I created a partition and I this blue area indicates a leopard that was upgraded to lion um, I guess uh, Matt, uh, Apple allows you to run two separate um, two different versions of, of their software on your one computer hard drive uh, maybe for developers so that want to try out things in Lion and also try things out in Leopard, uh, but you can easily do it too. And I didn't think you could, but I gave it a try. And I would love to show you from scratch, but you know it's kind of hard. I have a bunch of stuff installed. And so anyway, uh, you hit the plus sign. You make uh, a partition. I chose 50 gigabytes of of my 350 gig 350 hard drive and then this I chose 268 out of my 350 so now I have two so then after you hit the plus sign you make the two and you hit apply and then it will load up make sure it's on Mac OS extended journal and name it whatever you want to name each of the drives I chose no leopard and line you, after it installs it, you have to restart the computer and um, there might be a startup option where it asks you do you want to start up with the you know the disk uh, which disk partition do you want to start up with you know start up with your leopard that you probably had for years with all your software installed on it and then um, you're gonna have a clean blank drive uh, like a partition of the drive so what you're gonna do next is after you confirm that you had those two partitions you're gonna go into startup disk and startup disk you'll find in Systems preferences if you click on here and you click startup disk and you're going to see in startup disk that you have the two hard drives now what you're going to do is you're going to install this um, the uh, installation disk for leopard uh, uh, whether it came with your computer uh, you know when you buy a new computer that had leopard or you have a retail version uh, that you bought and had for you you know a couple of years or whatever so what you're going to do now is you'll you know have everything closed out you'll have those two partitions and what you're going to do is you're going to so what you're going to do now is you're going to go and restart your computer um, and when you restart your computer you can hold down the uh, C button uh, C is in Charlie button uh, while the computer is restarting and you'll get a startup um, option that will ask you whether you want to uh, boot up from 
Snow Leopard, uh, you know, one partition or the other. And uh, if you have the disk installed uh, in your drive, it will ask you if you want to start up from that disk as well. Uh, uh, what you do is you first start up with the blank, uh, you know, you're choosing disk utilities. You want to start up from you want to start up from the uh, new partition that you made and then while it's restarting you hit the C button and then it will ask you what you want to install you start up from and you start up from the disk that's installed in your DVD player uh, on your Mac and uh, then it will ask you you know what do you want to do and you say you want to install Snow Leopard you install Snow Leopard you choose make sure you choose the new partition that you made and then once you make that um, you will um, have Snow Leopard installed on both partitions and then you restart your computer again and you choose the new partition it will start up it will ask you all those questions about what country you're from and you will have uh, a fresh clean copy of S Snow Leopard then you can go into the App Store you can download uh, make sure you're signed in with your usual username and password that you bought Lion with or you can do a fresh version and you can use it on any partition uh, you only have to buy it once and you put Lion on the partition uh, you know upgrade to Lion from Leopard and you will have Lion on that partition and then when you restart your computer every time um, it will restart on the uh, partition that you had previous to restarting uh, but if you wanted to switch over to that other partition then you have to go through disk utilities um, or hit the C button while the computer is restarting and you will have sort of an option like this where you'll have both partitions and whatever disk you have in uh, but you know it will give you the explanation point it will tell you you can't do it from there so that's how you pretty much do it and uh, you know enjoy two copies of two different versions of uh, Mac OS X and do what you want with it uh, and uh, test your products uh, or do whatever you do uh, whether you want it on Lion or you want it on uh, Leopard uh, and like I said, you can enjoy both. Um, I wish they ran at the same time, you know, with a click of a button, but holding the C button down is not so bad. Or oh, going through uh, startup disk to boot over, you know, reboot your computer over to that partition. That's fine with me. Anyway, I hope this helped you, and I look forward to making more videos. Um, I'm going to be starting up My Tech Man Cave. Uh, that's my new. Um, YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter account. Uh, maybe you want to follow those. Uh, you want to like this video, subscribe to me. Uh, I have a couple other videos that I did, and uh, that would be pretty much it. And I thank you for watching, and I hope uh, to hear or see you again. And uh, thank you.